Kato. Yes? You puzzle me. Ignoring your orders to return to Tokyo, so you can remain in this type of place? No, I, I, I'm interested in the forbidden magic that the Adept Dehuai freed. I, I, I've been doing some research. Research? All you do is hang around me all the time, running errands. No, I, I, I just, uh... Hmm. You're protecting me, right? I appreciate it. Huh? <laughs> now that Shanghai is under our control, I'm just a loud, whimsical hog to the higher-ups. A replacement dog will be sent. Commander, what are you talking about? You're still a hero of the Japanese people! Kato. Yes? I wonder what Yuri and the others are doing now. Yes, they have been missing ever since the Shanghai earthquake. I haven't heard anything more since. I'm sure they're traveling far, holding firm their convictions. No one to answer to, just following their instincts. Somewhere deep inside, I envy them. Lieutenant Colonel! Why are you shouting all of a sudden, Sergeant? Uh, e even you could do it, Lieutenant Colonel. Anyone can do it, as long as they truly desire it. There are no rules in life, only the ones you make for yourself. I want to live a life of no regret. It may be difficult, but only you can change the way you lead your life. Lieutenant Colonel, I... I love you. I would follow you down whatever path you decide to take in life. I, Masaru... Masaru Kato, will not leave anything to regret. Ah! What am I saying?! Yes. I think you're right. <gasps> what? What? Knock before you enter. Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima, we've received an urgent wire from Tokyo. Please come to HQ immediately. A wire from Tokyo? Is it from my father? Okay, let's go. Colonel. It's okay. I'll be right back. Then we can continue this conversation. Why are you shaking? Well, let's go. Lieutenant Colonel! Hang on! Lieutenant Colonel! It appears my father has deserted me. We'll get you help right away. Hang on! I guess I... I had it coming. The last gear... fitting. Lieutenant Colonel, hang in there! Kato... Thanks for... everything. 
Why? He was in a terrible state. Oh, this is from Kuiha. <laughs> Whoops. He was in a terrible state. We couldn't find any words to console him. Sergeant Kato will take Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima's ashes back to Japan tomorrow. Yuri, there are many rebel factions in Shanghai fighting against the Japanese army. I hope nothing happens. I also hope that you'll come back to Shanghai soon. From Kuiha. P.S. I've enclosed the scarf I knitted for you. Please, pass it along to Zhushen. You'd receive Coat of the Adept. That's his best armor. Kawashima is dead. Life is so ironic. Now, don't you guys turn out like that, you hear? Because that really make me cry. This story about Kawashima may not have a huge effect on this game, but it has a major effect on the games to come. Oh, well, mostly Covenant. I don't really know if it has an effect on um, from the New World. Oh, it really makes you think, you know? Okay, so we can reform the party here, but we already have Margaret in our party, so it doesn't matter. It's locked. I don't think you can ever get in there. Okay, now we're going to go do Margaret's first part of her side quest. And we're going to save the second part for afterward. Let's see if I can I can get in there much easier that time. Is it okay if I pray? Hey, sunny boy. Mind if we have a talk over there? What is it? Go in there? Like the other time. I know about it, right, Father Yuri? <sighs> Hurry up! <laughs> it seems someone is in the neighboring confessional. Um. Father, would you listen to me for just a few minutes? The world today seems to be heading toward disaster. No. No, I'm not talking about Albert. The countries known as the Powers are pouring massive sums of money into building up their militaries. Like children vying for the biggest collection of toys. <laughs> and you know, at first I thought I would just use Yuri and the others. I thought I could use their remarkable powers to benefit our nation. Yes, just like the Japanese army was trying to do. But the more I watched that reckless Yuri in action, the more ashamed I started to feel. I mean, Yuri really isn't thinking about anything. He's not thinking of a national interest, or of politics, or of money, or of anything he has to gain or lose. He just sees that girl, and he sees all the forces lined up against her. And so, he protects her, nothing more. Just like some comic book hero, you know. But I'm a little jealous. I mean, the really important things in life aren't about profit and gain, right? I think maybe I'll start searching for those things, too. The truth is, I'd really like to search for them together with him, but... Oh, forget I said that. Thanks for listening to all my silly talk. <laughs> 